Hi there, this is Pastor Jake, the Associate Pastor here at Faith United, and I'm excited to bring you this week's weekly update. I'm here in the sanctuary in front of the window where that displays Jesus being baptized by John. I've been thinking a lot about baptism. This past Sunday, I got the opportunity to baptize two small boys, Angelo and Gino. Baptism is always special, but there are certain seasons of my life when I find myself thinking more reflectively or meditatively about baptism and all that it means for the life of faith. This is certainly one of those seasons. Maybe that's because of the tumultuous political climate that we find ourselves living in, or the fact that the pandemic pandemic continues to go on and on here in the United States, or maybe it's because I can't be face to face with so many of you, and yet I still desire for that connection to the body of Christ and to God. Whatever the reasons are, this is certainly a season for me when I find myself thinking a lot about baptism and all that baptism means in the life of faith. The United Methodist Church actually has a resource that is our official stance on baptism, which is by water in the Spirit. I want to read to you a small section from the closing of this document about baptism. As God's baptized people, who are we and what are we to do? Baptism tells us who God is and who God intends for us to be. We are loved more deeply by God than we can ever comprehend. God is unwilling to allow us to be less than we were created to be. We are in covenant with God. We belong to God. Baptism shows us what we are to do. We are to be God's ministers, sent by God to serve the world, to work for reconciliation, justice, and peace. Baptism makes us a part of the community of the church, charged with the responsibility of continuing the work of Christ. Baptism tells us who we are and what we are to do. To be baptized is to have one's whole life claimed and used by God. To be a member of the church is to be a part of God's community, which is chosen and charged to carry out God's mission. Baptism finds its fulfillment in ministry. God's people must remember their baptism and be not only thankful, but fruitful. In this season, I hope that you might take some time to think about baptism and what that means for your personal spiritual journey, for your journey into faith. As you wash your hands, as you take a shower, as you maybe get caught in the rain, I invite you every time the water touches your skin, to think about baptism and to recall in your mind that you are a child of God for whom Christ has lived, died, and resurrected, that you are more deeply loved than you may ever know. If you are not yet baptized, I invite you to contact myself or Pastor Steve or another uh, trusted Christian leader in your life who can help you understand what baptism is. And maybe this is the season for you to take that next step in your own journey of faith. As we transition to the rest of our weekly update, I want you to receive this blessing that is typically a part of the baptismal liturgy. The Holy Spirit work within you, that being born through water in the Spirit, you may live as a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. If you haven't gotten an opportunity yet to participate in last week's Worship by Wire, I encourage you to go back and participate in that worship service. Pastor Steve started our new prayer series with a sermon from 1 Samuel chapter 1, verses 9 through 18. It was a phenomenal and a creative sermon, and I invite you to go back and really look at that and dive into this prayer series with us. Coming up for this Sunday, I will be 
preaching on a sermon uh, titled Inward, and we'll be looking specifically at the prayer of examine and how prayer can be a formational tool for us to use as we continue to grow in Christ likeness, as we continue to strive to be God's agents of transformation and change, and as we seek to be closer and closer to God. In addition to worship by wire, we are excited to say that the new Celebrate Wonder Children's resources will be available this Sunday. Kathy Schmucker, our Director of Spiritual Formation, would also like for us to lift up the weekly prayer focus that will be a part of this series. Uh, you saw one of those uh, last Monday when uh, that email came out from Pastor Steve with the prayer and pondering. If you haven't gotten a chance to take a look at that, I invite you to go back and check that out. And then Kathy will also be doing a special prayer focus, and hers for this week will be praying the scriptures. Uh, so I invite you to take a look at those. Amy Ferguson, our director of youth, would also like for me to lift up the youth ministry videos. Please keep looking at those, watching those with your youth, participating in those with your youth. Amy is doing a phenomenal job with those videos every single week. So I really invite you to take a look at those. Coming up for us here at Faith United, we have several worship series planned. Of course, our prayer series is what we're in now, and that will carry us through the end of September. Following that is our Defying Gravity Stewardship series. That will take place in October. I have taken a look at those resources and continue to read the book, and I am excited, genuinely excited, about Tom Berlin's approach to stewardship. I know that that's going to be a great stewardship series for our congregation and I invite you to be on the lookout for the resources and the studies that will be a part of that church-wide opportunity for us to take a look at how we can be freed from the culture of more. And then following our stewardship series is going to be a series on the book of James. I'm really excited to dig into the book of James with all of you. And then of course after that is Advent. And we are still in the process of planning for Advent. Uh, we have been participating in several Advent webinars that have been led by Adam Hamilton out at Church of the Resurrection in Leewood, Kansas. So that's in the works. We have another program staff meeting coming up to continue to plan for Advent. In addition, our Wednesday night faith connections will be starting again. I'm excited to see how those go here at Faith United. I know that that is an important part of the rhythm here in this congregation. Um, we will be using a new interactive format as we attempt to live stream these and then interact with people in real time uh, through Facebook. So keep looking for those. Wednesday nights will start back up September 16th at 6 p.m. That's when the worship portion of Wednesday nights will go live. Following that at 6.30, the groups will begin to meet. So there will be several studies that are offered on Wednesday nights, including a youth group Bible study on Wednesday nights that'll take place at 6.30. Amy's been talking to me about that, and she's excited to dig back into the Bible study with the youth. So I hope that you're encouraging your youth and your family and in your household to really participate in those. Um, in addition, the kids are invited to a special Get to Know Pastor Jake gathering that first Wednesday night, September 16th at 6.30. It'll be a time for me to get to meet the, the children who participate on Wednesday nights, and Kathy and Bethany will both be there as well. So put that on your calendar and plan to attend that with your children. If you are interested in fall groups, you will be excited to know that there will be an email coming out later this week that has a list of the fall groups that are already in process of being planned and executed and designed so that we can have a really spirit-led and Christ-centered fall. If you are interested in leading a group, I invite you to contact Kathy, uh, who is our Director of Spiritual Formation again, and she can help you initiate that process of uh, starting a group for this coming fall. If you have any questions about the groups that you see in the email, Kathy is also the contact person for that. 
I have really enjoyed getting to know um, all of you through the Pastor Jake Get to Know You gatherings, and there are still opportunities to sign up if you haven't been able to participate in one of those yet. So I invite you to go to the church's website. The link will be below so that you can see the most up-to-date list of those gatherings that are available for you to participate in. Some of those will be by Zoom. And now that the New Beginnings team has given a green light for groups to meet in person outdoors with less than 10 people, some of those groups will also take place in that fashion. As we come to our time of prayers, I invite you to continue to lift up the Ransom family. The funeral for Joe, the celebration of her life, uh, was had on Tuesday evening. Pastor Steve officiated at that service. So I invite you to continue to pray for the Ransom family as they grieve and as they transition to this new stage of life. Would you pray with me? God of grace and abundance, God of love and holiness, God who is so near to us, closer than the breath in our lungs. We come before you and we thank you for this day. We thank you for your love. We thank you for our lives. We thank you for baptism. We thank you for all that baptism means in the life of faith. We thank you that in baptism we are claimed And our true identity as your children becomes so, so very clear. We continue to lift up the Ransom family to you as they grieve. And we pray for all who continue to be impacted by the effects of this pandemic. We pray for wise leadership. We pray for decisive action. And we pray for communities who will do what it takes to weather this storm to partner together for the betterment of our community. We pray these things in the name of Jesus, who is the Christ. Amen.